Rock fall is a type of geologic hazard. It's really a type of landslide where we have rapid rocks falling from an outcrop or a source area and rolling down and stopping it, mostly where the slope gradient gets very shallow. Why it's really important is it can happen catastrophically. There's very little warning. You could imagine what would happen if this rock rolled through your bedroom one night. In Colorado, we've had rock fall kill folks, mostly on the major transportation corridors, but we've also had folks killed in their homes. This particular rock here originated from way up in the slope in the rock outcrop, and it rolled or bounced down here. It's a fairly large rock. If a rock like this were to roll into your home, into your car while you're driving, it would cause substantial damages. Many of the rocks we see being used as landscaping in the homes around here originated up on that rock outcrop and came to rest down here as rock fall. Up here you can see very clearly the source or the outcrop of where the rocks come from and how they roll down the slope or what we call the runout area and then where the slope gets flat or where they land. Along here you can see rocks of various different ages and sizes and types all along the slope. Here we have uh, two rocks and one is much more recently uh, deposited here than the other. This one has uh, been here for quite a long time. You can see the lichens on it, you can see the dirt that is formed around it, the soil that's formed around it and vegetation around it. This one here, uh, I think probably this older rock stopped this one, but it has no lichens on it, there's not a lot of soil around it, so that one is a much more recent rock fall. When we look at this site, it's obvious that we have a rock fall hazard. What's much more difficult to predict is when that next rock is going to fall. Is it going to fall after the next storm, after the next freeze thaw, after the next windstorm? Even earthquakes uh, will get rocks rolling. So this hazard is very difficult to predict in terms of how often it occurs. History is the best predictor of the future and what we'd like to do is to get people to avoid building in rock fall hazard areas. So when you're trying to build a home or a road in an area where you think there may be rock fall, one of the things you want to do is just look up the hill and to see if you can see a rock outcropping and many times you'll see fracturing and joints in the rock and through just basic weathering, breeze thaw, the rocks become loose and they also then uh, roll down. Other times what will happen is you'll have a fire where trees will burn on the slope or you'll have other some sort of vegetation disturbance and that will cause rocks that are kind of sitting on the slope to reactivate and to roll downhill. In areas where avoidance isn't possible, there are some mitigation measures you can do, such as berms or fencing. Again, it can be very unpredictable, so in most circumstances, we just really recommend that you avoid building in rockfall hazard areas. Colorado Geological Survey has resources that communities can use to help plan for and identify rockfall hazards. In many areas we have geologic maps that will show the presence of steep rock outcrops and steep slopes below them. Other areas we have rockfall hazard maps with areas that show the source area and they show the runout zone. So we have some detailed resources that communities use. We also have some rockfall hazard modeling programs that communities can use in analyzing what those hazards might be and what man-made changes to those hazards uh, might cause. Now your home is your major life investment. If it's hit by a rock fall, that's not covered by your homeowner's insurance. That's considered a landslide. For a community, if you are building a fire station, a major road, and those important public services are taken out by a rock fall, um, that could have other associated public safety impacts. So what we really want to do is to get people to be educated and aware of these hazards and to plan for them in a responsible way.